Welcome to another CalRTA short tutorial. My name is Sue Breyer, and in this video, I'll be showing Division Web Managers or anyone else who has been given permission to make changes to their division or area website, a new and easy way to update some items on their division and area websites. So let's get going. First off, what exactly can be updated using this new online form? Well, you can update and customize your rotating photo carousel. You can update your division elected leaders, your president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary. You can upload a PDF with a list of all your board members. If you're an area's web contact, you can update your area's officers, which appear on your area's website. You can add or delete the names and email addresses of those who receive emails when someone requests information about your division using the Contact Us button. And you can enable what we call the Recurring Events tool, which allows you to complete one form for, say, all your luncheons, which are held at the same time, same place, same day of the month for the entire year. There are three ways to access this new online update form. Option number one is by accessing the DWM communication form from the division website. This link is located beneath the newsletters box on the right hand side of the page. Option number two for accessing the update form is from the Leadership Directory page on the CalRTA website, calrta.org. From the main page of the state website, you first need to log in by clicking that gold Login button. Then you'll need to look for the Leadership Directory box, which is located on the Members page. Once you click on this Leadership box, you will see this Leadership Directory page over here on the right. In the upper right-hand corner is a link that says, click here to submit leader changes. The third place you can access this new update form is from the Division Resources page on the CalRTA website. As with number two, you go to calrta.org, you log in to access the members page, and then you click on the division resources located on the left blue menu. On the page that opens up, you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom, and you look for updates and revisions. You then click on the light gray box that says area division updates and revisions, and that will take you to the form. Now that we know our three options for accessing the update form, let's take a closer look at the actual update options that you have. So let's say you have accessed the form from the DWM communication form button on your division website. Once you click on this link, you're going to be taken to a form that looks like this. Now, the form that you will see is not actually split into two boxes that you see here on this screen, but it will actually be one long list of options. These are all the options that you have in updating your division or area website. They include asking a question about the form or a technology question, updating your division website leaders list, updating your area website leaders list, updating your division's meeting information for the CalRTA business office, customizing your division's homepage photo carousel, updating the email recipients for the Contact Us form, and enabling the recurring events tool in the coming events tab on the division website. Now, to the right of each option, you will see a button that says Open Form or Email Us. You simply click on the button to make your desired change or update. 
When you click on the Open Form button for any of the listed options, you will first be asked to type in some basic information. Your full name, email address, phone number, your CalRTA member ID number, your area number, division number, and your current state area or division position. Now, this information is required for every form that you access. Now, the first of your seven options is to ask a question. Once you have filled in the required fields, as I explained on the previous slide, you simply type in a question that you might have about filling out this form or a technology question, and then you click the Submit button. Your second option is to submit changes to your division website leaders list. But before I show you that particular form, let's take a look at the 10 new categories for your division leaders and what those categories include. First of all, you have presidents. This title refers to your division president or any co-presidents. Vice president includes your vice president or perhaps a first or second vice president, or even a co-vice president. Secretaries include your secretary, a recording secretary, or a corresponding secretary. The treasurer title includes treasurer and your financial secretary. Government relations includes your government relations chair, legislation, PAC, and or liaison to PAC. The membership title includes your membership chair or membership committee members. Communications and tech includes not only your communications chair, but a publicity chair, historian, and even a social media administrator, such as somebody who takes care of your Facebook page. Newsletter editor includes any newsletter editors that you have. Web manager or DWM, division web manager, that would include web manager, web contact, or your division web manager. Now the new members at large title covers a number of different positions, including Education Foundation, Emergency Loan Fund, Insurance, LES, Resource Services, Scholarship Foundation Chair, Sunshine Committee, Teacher Grants, Community Service, Telephone Tree, Ways and Means, and Luncheon hospitality, and there may even be more that fit under this title. When you click on that open form button to update your division website leaders list, you'll again have to fill in the required information as I showed you previously, and then when you scroll down, you'll see the form that you see right here on the right hand side. But before completing the form, please carefully read the directions at the top. You may type one or more names in each category listed as illustrated right here on the left in red. But please note that you must also type in the CalRTA membership ID number. Your division president should be able to provide the membership numbers of any members that you are adding. Now to add a name, you simply click on the box, the desired box, for example, president, and then you type in the first name and the last name of the person followed by their CalRTA membership number. Do not separate these items with a comma. In my example in red, I've correctly added James Smith and his membership ID number followed by a comma, then Sandy Jones, followed by her member ID. Now, although these two are co-presidents, 
they will both be listed as president on their division website and in the leadership directory. The members at large category that you see right here in this red box is a new category, which I mentioned before, and includes a variety of positions. You may list as many names and ID numbers as you need for this particular category, but please list only their names and membership number ID, no special titles. And there's one more field on this form that you can add a document to, and I will be addressing this on the next slide. Many divisions want to list all of their leaders, both elected and appointed officers, and some want to include photos and even a short biography of each member. If you would like this PDF of all of your division leaders to be accessed from the View More button under your leaders list on your division website, all you have to do is create your document, save it as a PDF, and then drag or drop it into the box on the form or click on this box and locate it in your computer files so you can upload it. Another option on the update form is to submit changes to your area website leaders list. Now, usually an area web contact is responsible for making these updates. Now, the area leaders appear under the leaders title on the area website and include the six titles that you see listed here on the left. This form is similar to the division leaders form. Simply click on the box, type in a name followed by their CalRTA member number, and then click the submit button. Now remember, if you have multiple names for a position, follow the examples in red that you see here. You can now easily revise your division's meeting information, but please note, that the information that you submit with this form is for use in the CalRTA business office only and will not be posted on your division website. When you click the open form button, simply type in the updated details of your division meeting right here in the box and click the submit button. If you need help, follow the directions in red with this example. Your next option on the update form is to customize the rotating photos in the photo carousel on your division's homepage. This process works differently from the others. To submit new pictures or remove old ones, you would click the Email Us button on the right. A pre-addressed email form will open up. All you do is type in the instructions on the form and then attach a 3 by 4 horizontal format photo. Be sure to include your name and contact information in the email and then send the email. Your next option on the form is to add or delete a Contact Us form recipient. Now every division has a Contact Us button on the blue menu bar at the top of their division website. When a visitor to the website wants to contact someone in the division, they simply click on the Contact Us button, complete the information, and submit the form. Now, the information request is sent to one or more emails that are on file. Use this form here to add or delete an email. Just enter the new email or list the email to be removed and then click the Submit button. The final option in the list is the Events Manager Setup. Now, if you want to set up recurring events for your division, such as board members that meet on the first Tuesday of every month at the same time and the same place all year long, you need to request that the tool be enabled. All you have to do after you fill in these required fields is click the button at the bottom that says, yes, I want to enable Events Manager recurring events and click Submit. Thank you for joining me for today's tutorial. Be sure to check out my other short tutorials on the CalRTA YouTube site at the web address on the screen. And as always, 
If you have questions, please email questionsforcalrta at gmail.com. See you soon.